what's up guys Andy here with another episode of tap lab and today we're doing a tutorial on mixer mixer is a live streaming platform and a lot of people are going to be moving over to mixer or trying mixer so i'm going to give you a quick overview of how to use it what you can do and what you can't do so up here on the top we have a few sections. We got who you're following, top streams, games, teams, and more. This is just like all the all the links. You can also scroll down to see um, some of the featured stuff and all of that. Well, let's just go to games. We'll go to Fortnite. You'll see this is very similar to the Twitch live streaming platform. Then we're just gonna click on someone. Let's click on this dude. And here we'll be taken to a stream. Let's, uh, let me make myself smaller here. Okay, so this is what you see right off the bat. It's kind of cluttered. By the way, I'm gonna show on desktop and then I'll do mobile in a second. So you can see it's kind of cluttered right off the bat, but what we can do is this mix play thing. You wanna close that. Um, this is just a toggle and this has a bunch of stuff on here. I honestly don't know what this is. Everyone's is a little different, but let's just close that to make it a little cleaner. We've got the stream title, the game, all of that, the view count. We've got skills. So you'll see these little lightning bolts and you, I think you can purchase the, the gems, the pink gems. But I could click on one of these and then it would do something in the chat and you sort of earn these blue lightning bolts. And you'll see up here in the top right corner is your profile. So if we expand this, we can see as I watch streams, I earn these blue lightning bolts. So in in 50 seconds, I'll get more more of them. I don't know how many, but I'll get more of them. So there's that. Other than that, we've got the streamer name, info, past stream, clips. You cannot create clips as a user. I believe only the streamer can create clips at this point. But if the streamer creates any clips, those will show up here. But every streamer has their info, you know, their social networks, all the all the links and everything they want you to be able to click on down there and we have follow buttons sub button share that's pretty much it and then over on the right side we have the chat so this is kind of cluttered right now it'll be interesting to see when a huge streamer comes on here but there's this like invisible invisible thing right here where you can drag the chat so you know I can make this chat bigger or I can just collapse the chat so that's a little more clean right there. Doesn't have so much going on. You can see the action. And if you want to open the chat again, you need to hover over this area and then you can just drag that open. Drag it closed. Easy peasy, that's how you use the desktop platform. Also, we can open up our profile stuff right here in the top right. You can go to all of your details there. If you want to change your username or anything like that, just go to account and I believe you can change your username every 30 days. So there's the desktop version. Now let's hop over to mobile real quick. Okay, so here we are on the mobile platform. Same stuff, we have the trending tab, which is like all of the featured page. We have the following tab. We have our profile and that's about it. So let's hop into a stream. We'll go to the Fortnite game, we'll scroll down and find someone here. This looks like a fine one. So we've got the game on top the chat down here on the bottom. You can type in the chat if you want. I also found that it's hard to close the chat. You know, you can't swipe on it or anything. You basically need to tap on the video and that will close the chat. You can type in the chat just like the other version. In the bottom right, we have a crown for a leaderboard. You can close that. In the bottom, bottom right, we have a flying meteor thing. And that's what allows us to uh, do the sparks and the the gems and that type of stuff. So we have stickers, effects. So the effects is like animation that plays over the entire chat. So that I saw one of those yesterday and that's pretty interesting. We can also tap on the video area and it's gonna open up more options. It'll show the streamer name, the game name, the viewer count. We can also like the stream here. We can tap in the top right corner and get some more options. And we can also go full screen in the bottom right corner of the video. Okay, so I can't go full screen while I'm recording or else it'll end the recording. But if you wanna go full screen, it's the four squares in the bottom right corner of the video section. And that's pretty much it. You can also swipe down to collapse this, swipe up to make it big again. I think you can also hit the arrow in the top left to do the same thing. 
then you can just swipe this way off the left side of the screen. But that's pretty much it for the Mixer mobile app. It's a pretty clean app. They definitely have the tech. I'm excited to see some popular streamers test it out see what it's all about they just need incentives for popular streamers to move over they need to they need that cool factor and we'll see soon if ninja is able to bring that i'm excited for it hopefully you guys found this video helpful be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions i'll try and answer those don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications drop a like on this video all that good stuff thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one okay don't blame your problems on the past Go hard.